All right, what's up guys? Today we're in Anna Maria. We're gonna be fishing for snook, tarpon, and bass. Got my 1K Shimano Naski, my Falcon Coastal Rod, and we're gonna be using DOA cows. That's about it for the tactic today. And right now we're at spot number one. I'm gonna be trying to get some snook, tarpon, and the game plan for today is just to pond hop and explore new spots for snook and tarpon. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys on the chess cam. Carpet on, boys and girls. Connor, get the big camera. Get the big camera, Connor. Connor, get the big camera. You know how to turn it on? Carpet on. Carpet on. First cast of the day. Should I go down there? Yeah, I'm gonna go down there. Carpet on. First cast of the day, sight cast of the tarpon. It's about 6 a.m. right now on the DOA cow, baby. Or is that a snook? That may be a snook. Or is it a drum? I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, it's nice though. Snook. Wait, no. Right fish. Right fish. Right fish. Let's go, baby. Red fish. Red fish, baby. That is how you get the morning done. Look at that red fish. Heck yeah, baby. What is up, guys? Well, first cast of the day. On the DOA. Nice redfish, buddy slurped it. So I'm, psych so I'm uh, tailing out there, told my buddy Connor, watch this. And what do you know, first cast got a solid redfish. I'm stoked. Let's get this baby back in the water. Gonna go ahead and release this redfish. Get her done, baby. Get her done. There he goes. Give me some. Let's go. All right, so we switched plans. There's a lot of algae and vegetation in the mid, in the mid water column. So we're gonna throw on a top water spook and just work it across the top in hopes for a snook or something like that. All right, well that was absolutely sick. Rolled up on the spot. First cast, saw a redfish tailing. I'm gonna be honest, at first, I thought it was a tarpon boil, but the eat was just different. I was like, Connor, I don't know what this is. And what do you know? On the DOA, pulled out a nice solid redfish. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna hop around this area and go try a different spot. And I'll see you guys back on the chest cam. Connor just hooked up, don't, want it, don't know what it is. Might be a snook or a redfish. Here, go, go, go. Oh, that's a redfish, for sure. I'll land it for you. Yes, sir. I was on, now Connor's on. Perfect, perfect. Look at that drag. Funny is we came back to the original spot. Connor casted and got blown up on. I said, Connor, you're gonna be on watch. And boom, he was on. Looks like a nice redfish or a nice snook. Can't be a tarpon, it hasn't jumped yet. Try 
Start of working this way. Yeah, I think that's a red. Some mullet, dude. <laughs> I don't want to touch that boy. <laughs> yeah, I know something busted, and I don't know how you got that. That's a big one, though. Put that boy in the smoker. You got a good sandwich right there. It was hooked good. Alright, so we're done with spot one. Spot one wasn't too bad. Caught one nice redfish. Connor managed to catch a mullet. I do not know how. But we're on the way to spot two, which is going to be some ponds. And hopefully, we're going to catch some snook, maybe some tarpon using DOA cows. And I'll get back to y'all when we're at the spot. Well, that spot was absolutely terrible. We had to go through some guy's backyard and it was like a broken down fence. So it was really sketched out. I didn't know when the guy was gonna come out, if the guy was gonna come out, but looked like nothing was there. No, no anything, no vegetation, no nothing. But we're on a spot three now. Hopefully that spot will do good. So we're at spot number three, and it's just like a private pond it looks like, but nothing here, so we're probably going to skedaddle right about now. Ah! You be on me. Ah! Alright, see you in the car. So we're at the fourth spot now. And my golly, look at these coconuts. Don't want those things dropping on your head.
on the DOA. Alright guys, well, as you can see, we're back home, and this will be the end of the video. Sorry for the short video, but me and my buddy Connor did not have that much time. We only had like four hours. We got out there at like 7 and had to leave around 10-ish and 11-ish. But with that amount of time, we did catch some fish, which is always a plus. But before I go, I'm going to show you guys the gear I was using today. So, first off, I was using a 1K Shimano Nasky. And for the rod, I was using a Falcon Coastal, very light action rod, perfect for light setups like this. And for the main line, I had 10 pound Cortland line, and then I had 20 pound leader, a little jig head, and a DOA cow. And that has it. That was our rig today. That is what we call all the fish on. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video.